Good morning and happy Disney day three. I am currently just wrapping up, grabbing a few last minute things before I head out the door for the day. Um, first up on the agenda is meeting Allie at Hollywood Studios for a nice relaxing breakfast on Sunset Boulevard. It is one of my absolute favorite things to do. So we're gonna have a nice little slow, quiet morning and then we'll see where the day takes us. I'm thinking I might hop to Epcot. We're ending the day at Magic Kingdom, but everything kind of in between is up in the air. So I'm so, so excited. I'm also like obsessed with my outfit today. So I'm gonna, let me show you. I've got hot pink ears, shop Disney. My charm bracelet from Hollywood Studios, I'm a junkier, magic band, 100 years of wonder shirt, pink wire shorts from Lulu, and my tennis shoes. And you can't see my socks, I kind of have colorful socks on, but they're forky socks. And I'm just feeling comfy, I'm feeling cozy, and I'm ready to, to do some park hopping today. So, let's go. Genuinely, nothing hits quite like a Disney resort early in the morning, like first thing in the morning. It's just, it's just like a completely different type of magic, to be honest. Just like the sunrise glow, the green grass, the sounds of everybody getting ready for the day. It's just, it's truly unmatched. Scene of the crime. That's where my pin fell in the trash can. Oh. And just like that, we are back at Hollywood Studios. Um, it has been a lovely little morning here. I've been doing some pin trading and I just met Donald and Daisy, which was so cute. Cause you know, of course I have my little Daisy Nuimo, but now I am making my way back to the front of the park to meet Allie for some much, much needed Starbucks. <laughs> Ali and I are actually experiencing yet another first together. Woo. Watching Beauty and the Bees. I can't believe it's the first time we've seen this together. Yeah. All these times at Hollywood Studios. I think the last time I saw this show was the COVID version. Where Beast was dying like six feet away from Bella. She's just like, no! I don't even know how he like came back to life. I don't know what lore they, they were just like, yeah, this happened. Yeah, love just exactly exuded so you strongly. You knew it happened, therefore it's okay. Yeah, I'm excited. I don't think, how long has this show been here? I feel like it's been here as long as I can remember. Yeah, like I remember coming to it as a kid. Yeah, that was a long time ago, so crazy. It's a perfect day, honestly. Weather's stunning, not a cloud in the sky, sun shining. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Beauty is found within. She had seen that there was no love in his heart, and as punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return, the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? Hello there. Be our guest for dinner. We'll keep it simple. What are you talking about? What? Thank you. 
glow up I had a, a good amazing. time like I felt like costumes were fresh yeah. choreography was fresh it was I they was really impressed they really did good for them as they should um yeah I don't know what we're gonna get up to next it's 11th in. <laughs> girl me tipsy on the skyliner dangerous oh all right, Allie has to go be a good little student and take a test, but I think I'm gonna hop on the Skyliner and go to Epcot for a little bit. Kinda want some festival food and check out the shops there, but we just had like the best pin trading experience outside of Hollywood Studios. They just had so much stuff. Have a good day. Um, they just, and there was like four people that had the most like amazing pins on their lanyards and a board and it was so fun. Um, yeah, it was such like a nostalgic morning, Allie and I were saying. It just felt like a step back in time to like the Hollywood studios of our childhood, which was just like so fun and so nice. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Not too bad, have a great day today. Thank you. All right, so I don't think I've been at Epcot for even 30 minutes, but I've already accomplished what I wanted to do. I came to get Cole a little souvenir. He really likes the little lucky owls and cats that they have um, in the China Pavilion, but he already has three at home, so I got him a new one. I got him a little green owl. It's supposed to give him luck in academics, which is perfect since he just got into grad school and starts this fall so I thought that would be the perfect little knickknack but now I think I'm gonna go do some little festival eating I think I'm gonna start in the Odyssey though guys I'm gonna be really honest with you because this is a safe space sometimes I just really hate the world showcase sometimes it just goes on for a little too long and if it's just a little too hot, it's just not fun. And people don't know how to walk. And it's just a little overstimulating for me. So, I have arrived at the Citrus Blossom inside the Odyssey. I did, however, make a rookie mistake and did not get any napkins. So, be interesting. Out the sauce first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is good. I would give this like a solid four out of five. Should we call? It, do we do like little? What should we do? Should we do flowers? I will give this like a solid four out of five flowers. It's really good. But it's not like life changing, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this. So this is actually my first time really walking through all the newly opened stuff in Epcot. Um, is it World Celebration? Is that what it's called? With all the seating and the Walt statue. And it's really nice and really spacious. And it reminded me that I have not been to the Journey of Water with Moana, so. I think that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm kind of just all over the place. It's actually really anxiety inducing and I'm not having a fun time. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. So, that's probably really nice and really beautiful if nobody is in there, but otherwise it is quite miserable. Um, 
so maybe I'll go check that out again another time. But I'm like kind of moving backwards. I think I'm gonna go to like one more festival booth. I really don't know. I changed my mind. I'm just gonna head to Magic Kingdom now. It's just really hot and it's really crowded. And I know you're probably thinking, Rebecca, Magic Kingdom is not gonna be any better. You're correct. But I just don't want any hot food. It's kind of hot outside. And nothing's really tickling my fancy. And it's almost two o'clock. So I'm thinking if I hit up the monorail, I'll have time to get another Starbies and then maybe watch Festival of Fantasy and do some shopping on Main Street. That's kind of where my head's at. The lights are on up there. Fingers crossed, it could still happen. Yeah, it hasn't maybe, started. Maybe yet. he'll take it back. Maybe. Ice cream break. Also, I just want to apologize for some of the clips previous, uh, prior to Festival of Fantasy. I was in my peak grumpy girl hour. It was a tough time for everyone involved. But I got a little Starbies, watched the parade, and I feel a little rejuvenated. It kind of brought me back. Um, I got a caramel macchiato, which me and my college roommate, Lauren, used to call like the Disney drink. Cause it was like too expensive to buy on our own at college. So we like only saved it like when we would go to Disney and we would like send it to each other. So Lauren, if you're watching, I got a caramel macchiato cause I was thinking of you. Um, but yeah. Take me back to the day that would be so fun. Rebecca Classic. The Little Mermaid. 
The 20 minute wait was actually a 20 minute wait. I love this part. I wish I just did this the whole time. God, it's so bright. You know, maybe maybe we should get our Coke Zeros early. Maybe. And then we can get the rest of the dinner. Maybe. The rest of the dinner when everybody else thinks we need it. Guys, we had a magical moment. He was so sweet. We were walking up to Casey's and the guy asked if we wanted to place an order. And we were like, yeah, we're just grabbing a soda. And then he was like, oh, it's soda. I always had a Coke Zero. And he just said, it's on the house today. He went over and he grabbed it. He got us a soda. So shout out to, I think it was Grayson. Okay, guys. At Casey's Corner. The freshest you, Coke Zero. You are a real one. <laughs> that was so nice. She said, yup, yup. <laughs> You know what time it is? It's 6.58. <laughs> is it really 6.58? <laughs> it is. Okay. <laughs> See? She wanted to know. Thank you. It's time for Casey's career. Alright, it is 7.30 and we are camped for fireworks. We have a pretty big group. So... We decided we'd sit a little early and save them a spot. We're on the bridge, like right at the end of the bridge, entering to Marland. Um, Cause I think we're gonna do some rides in there afterwards, but it is a perfect golden hour. What would you say, mom? A beautiful golden hour? She's, she's enjoying a brownie. Oh, I'm so glad. But yeah, and then we're just gonna sit here and chit chat and wait for the rest of the gang. A heart's desire, it calls to us. And when we're brave enough to listen and bold enough to pursue, that dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we're meant to be. Some people are worth melting for. Now go, let your dreams guide you. Reach out and find your happily ever after. The battles, my stories, 
the crosses and all the glory were changed by the way we live every day. Just look up and reach to the sky. We Thanks. all have the courage to Munchling unboxing with mom. <laughs> Drum roll. Is that Mei Mei? Oh, it's Mei Mei. Hey, Mei Mei. 